money I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money but I'll work it out with my charm what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new here. There is obviously a lot going on in the world right now. It's very serious, it's very scary, and there's a lot of us that are at home for the next month or so. I know in California, which is where I am, we have the like shelter in place order, I think. Something of that sort. We're allowed to leave the house for like walks or the grocery store or anything that's like important, but most people are home. I am fortunate enough to be able to work from home and continue doing what I normally do. But I do realize there's a lot of people that don't have that privilege and my heart goes out to you guys. I hope this video can be a distraction or some kind of entertainment in a time where distractions are really nice. So I came up with 50 things. I don't know why I'm putting up two hands because that's not 50, this is 10. 50 ideas of things you can do to spend your time. If you are new to my channel, definitely subscribe. I'm going to be posting a ton of content during this quarantine and weird time in our lives. So yeah, definitely subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you like this. Also, if you are really bored and like need more things than just this, I have lots of different social medias. I post lots of TikToks. They're a lot of fun. We got Twitter, Instagram, the whole thing. So everything is going to be linked in my description. And with all that being said, let's get into the 50 things you could spend your time doing. First thing that I've been doing is online shopping. There are so many stores that are taking away delivery fees to encourage people to buy. I feel like there's a lot of sales. There's still a lot of stores that you can shop on still. Like you don't have to go into the store, but you can shop online, even though you're just gonna be staying home. So like loungewear, that is the move. Take a bath. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, middle day, end of the day, beginning of the day. Baths are super relaxing. You can watch a show in a bath. You can do a lot of things in a bath. Light some candles, throw in a bath bomb, you know, like just kind of forget that the outside world is happening. <laughs> Another thing that I've been doing is trying to get ahead of work and really use this time to my advantage and just be as productive as I can. I am a Capricorn, so it's kind of like in my nature <laughs> to want to be busy and productive. So I've really been trying to use this time to my advantage and get as much done as I can. But with saying that, like don't feel pressured or don't feel like you're doing less than you should just because you're taking a day to relax. Like let's not forget that there's a pandemic happening. Uh, so don't, don't harsh on yourself if you're not doing the most. Sell your clothing online. You know, if you have a bunch of clothes in your closet that you definitely don't wear anymore, sell them online. There's so many different platforms that you can sell your clothes on and why not make a bit of money if you're just sitting at home? Write a letter to yourself one year from now. You can talk about what it's like in the world right now and what your life is like in this exact moment of quarantine. And it kind of gives you something or your future self to look back on and remember what this was like. Yeah, I think that's a really cool thing to do and like really fun for the future. <laughs> Find new music. There is so many different streaming platforms that you can find new music on. I love listening to Spotify and New Music Friday is my favorite thing in the world. I spend so much time every Friday just going through all of the songs and liking the ones that I enjoy and then I end up finding a whole bunch of new artists that I really like and it's definitely a good way to kill some time. Adding on to that, you can make a fun little vibey playlist for your quarantine time. You know, something that's just gonna make you feel good in your home because that's where we're gonna be for a while. One of my favorite things to spend my time doing now is make TikToks. I made fun of TikTok forever. I refused to get on the bandwagon. Like I just didn't care for it until I started and I realized it's the greatest app that has ever existed. And I have a blast every single day. It kills hours of my time. FaceTime is a beautiful thing in a time like this. Very thankful for FaceTime. It allows me to see my parents daily still even though they live in a different country. And on the weekends, it's kind of tough, you know? You you're used to seeing your friends and doing things. So face from your friends. Do like a FaceTime and wine night if you are of age. That's definitely gonna be my weekend routine for the next who knows how long. This is a great time to do some cleaning. I know we love to clean, it's so much fun. But you know, what else are you doing? <laughs> if you were sitting around bored, throw in your jewelry. Clean your jewelry. Just throw all of your jewelry in that you wear on a daily basis, clean it all, and you're gonna feel great about that. Or you can clean your makeup brushes because we all know how long they've been sitting there, nice and dirty. Probably a long time if I'm right. That's definitely something on my list to do because mine have been sitting for a while. <laughs> just do your makeup one day. You know, even though you're not gonna go anywhere, it just feels good. It'll feel more put together overall, so do that. You can also pick out a really cute outfit that's not gonna be seen by anyone, or, I mean, you can take photos at home, but put on a really cute outfit or just create multiple outfits that you really like and admire them. <laughs> I'm a huge Pinterest person, so I highly recommend you go on Pinterest and make a bunch of boards that inspire you and maybe make you feel more motivated or just make you look forward to the future when 
this is all over. <laughs> I'm gonna have my Pinterest linked in the description. Highly recommend you check out some of my boards while you're at it. Reorganize your bathroom. At least for me, I have tons of products that are just collecting dust and I really have to go through it. So that is also on the list. Make a fort. I don't, you know, get some sheets. You can make it just over your bed. You can make it in your living room. You can make it wherever your heart desires, but make a fort. It'll feel nice and you'll feel safe and enclosed and away from danger. Clean out your closet. As I said, this is a great time to do some cleaning and you're gonna need to clean your closet to find the things to sell, which I mentioned earlier. <laughs> do a solo photo shoot. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video on how I do this and just take photos at home by myself because the Insta feed is really gonna slack if you don't continue to take photos. And we can't go anywhere, so you gotta make do with what you have. Make a collage wall. Find some magazines, rip out some cool photos, throw them on your wall. Just kind of switch up the space, make it look a little different. I find that really fun. I like making collages, so I think it'd be a cool thing to do, and it'll definitely take up a good chunk of time. Self-tan. Make it look like you traveled. I know spring break is coming up, and a lot of you aren't able to go on spring break, so if you self-tan, you can still look like you went to your destination. Do a live on Instagram, or on YouTube, or wherever you feel like going live. Just go live, talk to some strangers on the internet, call it a day. Another kind of productive thing you can do is check in on your New Year's goals. We are a few months deep. Check in on yourself. Make sure you are following what you wanted to do at the beginning of the year. Do some home workouts. There are so many YouTube videos with so many different workouts and different kinds of workouts. It's pretty much endless. So if you want that bod, you get that bod. Read, grab a book, order one on Amazon. I don't know, maybe you have some already that you've been holding off on. It kills time. It's productive and it can be fun. Film a YouTube video. This is how I'm spending my afternoon, so thank you. Work on your flexibility. I know I definitely should be stretching more than I do, so maybe this is my time to finally learn how to do the splits. Binge all the shows, all the shows. You got Netflix, you got Hulu, you got Disney Plus, you got, I mean, there are so many different streaming platforms now that you're bound to find at least one show that you like, or some movies, just watch Watch things. Clean out your purses. This is one thing that I'm pretty sure most people with purses can relate to. All of the wrappers and the receipts, they're all in there. It's like trash. It's like a trash bag, just walking around with a trash bag. And our purses don't deserve that, quite frankly. So clean it out. Get all of your bags together, clean them out, fresh start, will feel good. Plan out your Instagram feed. This is why we have to take photos at home. You can get like vibey pictures of like, honestly, I don't know, but just plan out your feed. Go through your old photos or new photos or both and come up with a really cute aesthetic feed that you really like. Practice meditation. I have the Calm app. Uh, I think there's a referral code. If there is, it'll be in the description. I love it. There's so many different kinds of meditation you can do. And I realize it sounds kind of cheesy, but like what else are you doing? Also, it doesn't hurt to just take 10 minutes out of your day. Like if you're still working from home, like I am, it's really nice to take 10 minutes and just kind of center yourself. It can be really helpful and clear your head out. Try out new products that have been sitting around. This is something that I really want to do because I get so many products all the time and I don't end up really getting to use a lot of them because I stick to my normal routines. So this is a great time to try out some new products, whether it's like a new face mask or a new shampoo or new makeup products, you know, whatever it is. It's just something to do. Paint your nails. This will take like I guess like an hour of time, but you know, it's just nice. It's nice to have your nails done. I have not done mine at this point, so gotta do that. Play The Sims or any game that you like, but I personally really enjoy The Sims. I have both Sims 3 and 4. I don't really know which one I like better. They're very different, They're both great. But find a, find a fun game that you can kill time on because I can kill many hours on The Sims. If you can, go on a walk, just go outside. Definitely continue practicing social distancing. And if there's somebody else on the walk, try to keep as far of a distance as you can. But if you are not on like full lockdown and you're able to go out, definitely try to get a walk in every couple days or every day if you can. It helps a lot and it breaks up the day. So make a cheese board. We love cheese. We love cheese boards. That is something I'm going to be doing for sure. All of the cheese boards, all of the cheese. Read your horoscopes. I don't really know if I believe in horoscopes, but it's fun to read anyways. And if by some chance it does relate to your day, it feels really good. And you're like, oh my God, maybe this is gonna happen. And maybe it will, I don't know. Attempt an all-nighter. I haven't pulled an all-nighter in I don't even know how long, a very long time. But if you're really bored, it just don't know what to do, try it. I don't, you might lose your mind, but write in a journal. I have kept a journal since I was, I think, 10 years old. Like I have so many of them. It can be really helpful just to get your thoughts out, especially if you're anxious in a time like this. I feel like a lot of people are really anxious right now. I know I definitely am. It really helps just to get 
you know, it out and write it down. I feel like it's it can be very helpful. Definitely create a weekly schedule. It'll keep you on track. It'll keep a sense of normalcy and it'll make you feel like you're not as enclosed and isolated if you have a schedule that you actually stick to. Try baking. I am not a baker, but I definitely intend on trying. Like I would love to make some fresh cookies. <sighs> On the flip side, you can also just try cooking, make some kind of yummy recipe off of Pinterest, or just make one up as you go. Both are equally fun. Experiment with new hairstyles. I know for sure, myself, I don't do any kind of hairstyles. I just kind of do this messy wave thing and call it a day. But I would love to come out of this quarantine knowing how to French braid my own hair. That's a goal, okay. Follow up with me on that and see if I actually did it. You can do a hair mask. Hair masks are great. You can make one from scratch with like egg and mayo. And I'll put ingredients here of one that I found online that's apparently good. I have not tried it, <laughs> but maybe I will. You know, that'll be a fun like little mixture to make and then keep it in your hair and see how it turns out. Move your furniture around. I love doing this. I always move things around. It's helpful just to get a change of space. Movie marathon, as we said, Netflix is a great thing, but you can do a full marathon, like commit the whole day to watching just Disney movies or just Harry Potter movies, like something like that. So it's a full activity. Not just like a binge sesh, it's a full marathon day. Do a spa night, whether you're alone in your quarantine or if you're with other people, do a spa night, do a face steamer, a face mask, a full skincare system with like a million steps. Do your hair, do your nails, do the whole thing. Light some candles even. I feel like that'll really rejuvenate us. That is my plan for tonight, by the way. If you have an iPhone, you can play iMessage games with your friends and they're so much fun. Highly, highly recommend. Organize your space. I know I said something similar earlier Earlier, but just organize whatever you can like your drawers in the kitchen or your drawers in your bedroom Organize whatever you need to get organized I know everyone has like one thing that they've been putting off for a while So use this time to do it <laughs> start a new planner and schedule out what you want to accomplish and lastly last but not least number 50 I don't know why I keep putting my hands up because it's not 50 sleep take some time sleep in all day or Just sleep during the day take some naps who cares if you feel like for your own mental sake You need to sleep for a day you sleep for a day. We are in the middle of a pandemic. I feel like people will forgive you for sleeping for an entire day, if need be. And those are all 50 things that I could possibly think of to recommend. If you guys have any other suggestions, definitely leave them down below. We are literally all in this together and I can't wait to see us on the other side, which I hope will be before summer. <laughs> I really hope you guys are doing well and that you're healthy and safe and in isolation with people that are good for you. Yeah, I love you and I'll see you next Tuesday with the next video.